wolf's gonna mess you up. You might want to rethink your priorities, sir. Mind you, getting back to the Halloween thing. The whole reason I'm able to, to stream at all is because my internet connection has been updated. And it's leaps and bounds better. Though they keep having issues. Uh, but it's still leaps and bounds better than being stuck with satellite. And with satellite, I wouldn't even be able to do this. In fact, with satellite, there was a lot of things I couldn't do. One of them was like the uh, jumping puzzle. There's a, a watchtower jumping puzzle. I didn't stand a chance. By the time I was walking, uh, the green goo... Uh, by the time I was trying to, to do my first jump, the green goo had all caught up to me and killed me. Because uh, there was such a delay. Uh, now, it's just my own skill set that's going to keep me from getting to the top. It is a fun little jumping puzzle, I'll, I'll give it that. Uh. <sighs> but as such, it also... So it's, it's one of those things where I would have loved for the clock tower to have come back. I would have loved for Mad King Thor to come back and do all of his joking things like he used to do. And for the dev to Oh, no, we're having a blast on that one person's comment on Facebook. It just tells me that the dev wasn't actually with a net before. When it happened last year. But you know, it's cool. Just like this game. It's not gonna change me from liking this game. It just, you know, it, it sucks when the thing you like is something that the company putting it out sometimes just doesn't give a crap. Understand though, they're probably under huge timetable pressures to try to finish up this living world thing with a big elder dragon that they haven't yet delivered on. And then they realized, hey, the holiday stuff's coming up. Oh crap. It's fine, the holiday stuff. In most MMOs, the holiday stuff is is an easy excuse for the devs to kind of take some time off. You don't have to to blow your mind try and create new content for everybody. You you upload your patch that has all your special items. Uh, you you knock that out and and let everyone have their fun and go to Barbados for a week. Life is good at that point. And everyone loves you for it. That's the thing that's... <laughs> the thing that's, that's crazy about it is... Is, yeah, if, if you do your... If you do your holiday stuff right... Everyone... Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, it worked. Whew. 
But if you do your holiday stuff right, everybody loves you for it. Heck, they buy real life merchandise for that kind of joke. Because it becomes a tradition. And everybody loves traditions. fell for the trap on one of the games we've been playing. It's a really simple game, one of the browser-based ones, but they've got a trap in it that if you click a button, next thing you know it resets the whole thing and you're back to square one, which is going to get under her skin a little bit because she was looking forward to kicking my butt on it. <laughs> thing with that game was that when you hit that, that little wall at the 4 level or the 9 level um, you can walk away from it and just let it farm for a bit and get some other things done it's kind of one of the, the points of that game that it's a little addictive actually is the knowing oh I can do real life and play this game on this too. So yeah, I guess I got my soapbox speech out of the way there. Please, Anet, please do events. Do do holiday things. Everybody loved that on Guild Wars 1. But please don't. Don't do a... This is a one-time event type of thing for a holiday. And then rehash it a second time. That kind of... That kind of gets on the miffy side there. People start getting a little upset with that. Don't get me wrong. Still playing. This is still my go-to game. This is one that I like to spend most of my time on. And I've tried several now. Uh, there's a couple others that I like okay, but I still end up coming back here. Because the, the dynamic events, the not having to walk up to NPCs for every little thing. You know, every once in a while, that's fine. Hey, here's this whole region, like I'm getting ready to do with the scout here. Here's this whole region. Uh, there's some things to do here. People are in trouble, so, you know, if you want to help out, cool. If not, whatever. Trying for that 100% map completion, I just showed you where this junk's at. Okay, thanks. And you don't, 
you know, the scout doesn't get pissed off or fail you on something if you don't worry about the people they're they're telling you about. Just giving you some info. This scale are known around Tyria for their deadly poison. We need plenty of samples to isolate the source of that toxicity and to weaponize it for the char. Of course weaponize it for the char. I've got a theory, Chica. The char Republicans. Oh, yeah. yeah. Over farming, over mechanizing, destroying their local environment for the sake of their, their war machine. Uh, and weaponizing everything out there. <laughs> Did that make the, uh, the Assurn... Uh, Did that make the Assurns the Democrats the Well, um, overly obsessed with progressing knowledge, no matter the costs or consequences. Floppy-eared. <laughs> oh, okay, that was horrible. Oh. I'm sorry. So yeah, I've kind of been in the middle of the road, so I make fun of both, equally. I mean, certainly do take that, that want for, for knowledge and and, and advancement for convenience to a point of a dangerous level without any regard to, to what the long-term consequence might be. You know, like an Elder Dragon or something. Wouldn't that be funny if that was an intentional thing? And it took kind of the traits of of those and applied them into a persona. speculation. I'm not implying that they have or that I think they did. I'm <laughs> just noticing a few a few uh, obvious traits of a couple of the races on there. And how they seem to line up with noticeable things about certain political parties. At ease. Yay! 